Good morning, everybody. Now, with all those celebrity chefs out there, I figured the perfect way for me to make a comeback would be to have my own cooking show. Alright, so, my last video on YouTube, guess what? It got three views. Yes, three. Three whole people watched it and liked it. Can you believe that? Anyway, um, today I'm making my, uh, Uncle Ginger Snap's famous fried Alpo. Not apple, Alpo. Yes, and when you're, and of course, when you're making fried Alpo, you want to use plenty of canola oil. All right, not olive oil, not butter, canola oil. Now, if I was going to instead, you know, make um, fried pedigree or fried Mikey Dog, then I would want the olive oil. A lot olive oil for fried pedigree and fried mighty dog. That's my cooking tip of the day. <sighs> fried alpo for breakfast. It's a good thing. Um, Dr. Shapiro? <laughs> I have to cancel my appointment today. Um, yeah, there's a black cat and he's about to cross my path. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I'm not leaving the building. I'm going back to my apartment and waiting until he leaves. I, I fear there's bad luck afoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, goody! The last of my royalty money. And Medusa will be collecting the rent at the end of the week. Didn't Medusa invent that ice cream, Rocky Road? <laughs> Hell, she's so old. She not only invented Rocky Roads, she thought Jurassic Park was a home movie. I wish I could help you out, but things have not been easy for me since I was discovered living in the secret catacombs beneath ABC Studios, and all my children was taken off the air, and I was no longer the Phantom of the Soap Opera. It's okay, Lon. Times are tough. Bort met a superhero last year at Comic-Con, and even he's having a hard time making ends meet now. Roy Parker Clark. Oh, yes. Doesn't he go by the alias, The Bargainer? Yes, he does. I had him once. He's not much of a superhero, if you ask me. Can't leap off tall buildings in a single bound. And the only thing he does faster than a speeding bullet is nothing to brag about. By the way, speaking of Bort, where is that mangy mutt now? The Bargainer has offered to give him driving lessons. <laughs> oh, somebody warned the road Okay. Here? I know you're weird and the mm -hmm. bargainer and like an mm -hmm. anti-hero and shit, but what's with the get up? I mean, what's with that thing? What? If, if you must know, I use this to hold up this. No, Plus, I'm trying to be... No, no, listen to me. Sorry. If you must know, I'm using this to hold this up because my cape broke. And if you must know, I am also trying to be mysterious, like, 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 that, like that shadow type hero from the 40s. You know, the one from the movie serials. Shadow Stevens? You know, no. I did Hollywood Squares with him a bunch of times in the 80s. He was really awesome, you know? Because the funny Quiet. thing is... Quiet. No, the shadow guy from the 40s movies. The guy who lurks in the hearts of men, the evil that guy. I'm trying to be like him. Shadow Stevens Sr., his oh, father. God. All right. Okay, so, like, are you going to do Comic-Con again this year? Because that was a lot of fun last year. No, no, I, I lost my fan base. They don't want to see me, and I sure as heck don't want to run into people like you. No, okay. thanks. So what have you got on your plate, then? Because, you know, I have my YouTube cooking show right now, which I'm trying to probably into a cookbook, maybe. Maybe even a catering business. I don't know. All right, well, if you must know, again, and these are, I'm sick of these personal questions, because I got things to do, um, I'm trying to relaunch my career in the mainstream media somehow, maybe like, like a reality show. Um, okay, tell me what you think of this. Honestly, okay. tell me what you think of this. Alrighty. Um, and know this does not count as your favor in return uh, for me helping you with driving. What, okay, tell me what you think of this reality show. Um, okay. What happens to old superheroes who were screwed over on film by Joel Schumacher and they have to wait for greats like Christopher Nolan to resurrect them. What, what, what happens? That sounds like the dumbest premise I've ever heard. 
since you said it was the dumbest, I'm sure it'll actually be a hit. Because I, because I can't take anything you say with truth at all. And besides, I, I, you can't blame Joel Schumacher for your franchise dying. Because, quite frankly, part of the problem was you stopped pushing the Illuminati agenda. The Illuminati, the Illuminati agenda, the, the New World Order, the Freemasons. Yes, that was the whole the point. Thing. And here's the that thing. was the whole point. And Joel Schumacher certainly doesn't suck at that. That's the only thing he's good at. Well, I'm trying to take it further. New World Order, you know, chaos in the streets, the, 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 the new strain of swine flu coming Whatever. in 2018. Let's just, just drive. Shut up. All right, get in, the, get in the car. Get in the car. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm actually yeah. driving the bargain mobile. Thank you for agreeing to give me driving lessons. The bargain mobile is not insured, so you better be extremely careful. And you really, you really owe me for this. I am the bargainer after all, so you really owe me after this. Hell right, hell right. Look. Look, I'll tell you what, you can start by kissing my feet, or kissing my ass, or at least fixing my cape. If, I, if I kiss your feet, are they pickled? Because I do like to kiss pickled feet. That, a, that's always lovely. I may be an asshole, but unlike you, I'm a human being. I'm, I'm higher on the food chain than you are. No, my feet are not pickled. Yeah. Oh. If you pickle them, I'll kiss them. Just sh sh shut up and keep your eyes on the road. Fine. I can't have it on my record that my car was destroyed by a monster. Oh, oh, excuse me. Okay, this brings up a great topic, all what? right? All right, you know what? I killed your franchise? You know what really ruined your movies? What ruined my movies? When you let Commissioner Gordon Ramsay's Fish Sticks the Third Stupid drive thing. The Bargain Mobile. Please tell me you haven't been going on about that with people behind my back for the last nine years. I told you not of to discuss that. I have. That's confidential information. Oh, and then, I told you not and to then, talk and the Bargainer that. rises. Please don't bring up the sequel. After. Oh no. Billy Bob Bane Thornton Wilder breaks your back and leaves you in that prison in the middle of Abu Dhabi with the disease-ridden whores from Sex in the City, and you escape. You have no money. No passport, no identification of any kind, yet you get back to Goth Metropolis in the nick of time to save the day with no explanation. I mean, how the hell did that happen? All right, I have an idea. I know what. I, I have it. I have it. I know what you're going to do for me in return. I thought I'm scared. And if... And, and, and if you I'm don't... Terrified. And if you don't agree, I'm... You, not me, are going to do the Chinese fire drill. I may be in the passenger seat, but you're going to do the Chinese fire drill, and I'm going to shove you out. So... Now it's official. <laughs> you have to tell me, shut up. You have to say two good things about my movies. You don't get pissed off. You have to do say two good things about my movies. I know how much you hate them, but you have to say how good All they right. were in a way. All right. And don't dance around the obvious. Um, I liked, um... Uh, time's a factor here. Okay, okay. So what are you going to do now to make money? <sighs> I've been doing some tutoring on the side. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to teach Damien. Common core math. Ugh. Oh, is that as hard as people say? Uh, uh. Billy has eight severed heads on a shelf. He has six more severed heads in his closet. How many does he have in total? A, eight plus five equals 23. B, seven times six equals 13. C, 14 divided by six equals eight. Or D, 10 plus four equals 14. What the? 10 plus four equals 14. It's all about grouping numbers into groups of 10 or as close to 10 as one can get. You add two to eight to make 10. You take two away from six to make four. Then you add 10 and four. And this is third grade math. And the purpose of this bullshit is what? To make our children more able to compete in a competitive global job market. Oh, right, like the jobs are here. I know, like, hello? I really liked the nipples on the bargainer suit in two of the movies because it made you look like an awesome hybrid creature, like almost a werewolf. Um... And since they were nipples, there were two of them, so that means I've just paid you two compliments about your movies. Your nipples. On did, the suit. But, did, did, but did that one idea... Uh, oh... You're... 
really pushing my buttons today. <laughs> this is the last time I bargain with you. I got back into the superhero business for this. Hairball. Okay, now I'm gonna have a little fun. What killed your gosh damn franchise is that you had that ridiculous movie, Board vs. Shaddy, that stupid dinky little leprechaun is holding you back. She's still holding you back. She hey, ruined, hey. She ruined your movie. He's really a he, remember? Shaddy was a man up until like 1991, 1992 when a bolt of lightning changed him into a woman. So, although I think Shaddy actually does prefer being called she now, but okay, well, he, she, Okay, well, it. the man woman, it, Whatever. God, you know, now, I'm, one, now uh, I'm understanding why Cher gets so confused while talking about Chaz. And that's another, and that's the final kick in the craw that killed your franchise. All those gay homoerotic references. Excuse me, I have to call my Wonder House boy and tell him to wash my tights. Shut up. Alfredo? Yes, Alfredo. Excuse me. Watch us yell or something. This isn't the old country, so I'm driving on the wrong side of the road, aren't I? The old country? You're from California, you idiot. California boys are really wonderful. Daisy Duke's bikinis on top. That is not a good look for you, and don't you ever do that again. Oh, please. For 40 years, I did Erica Kane's hair. I even gave her singing lessons so she could do Annie Get Your Gun on Broadway. And now, I'm nobody. Not true. You're my angel of music. Oh, great. I'm some demented zombie's angel of music. Ahem. Excuse me. Like, hello? I am no zombie. I am Shadrach de Rapelli, a proper leprechaun. You're a leprechaun. Now you're Irish. With a last name like de Rapelli. Are you Irish or are you Italian? Well, my father is from Sicily. And my mother is from the Old Green Isle. You know, Brooklyn! Medusa! Oh, Medusa! Guess the Gorgon I am looking for. What do you want, Gorg? Guess what I got. The money for the next two months' rent. We're only head of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the gun, yeah. How do you have enough for two months' rent? You're always broke. You know my friend the bargain. He saw one of my uh, YouTube cooking videos and was really impressed with what he saw, so he pulled a few strings and got me a catering job. <laughs> you got a job catering. What for? The Justice League? He wouldn't want me to poison his buddies. No, he got me a job with the League of Doom. Skeletor and Lex Luthor are getting married. Well, as soon as they get over those stomach viruses, they are. Oh. 